The process of machining this handle starts by creating a geometry. Of course, you can take over the geometry out of CAD, as you will see in the milling technology. In addition, you can switch from the unit millimeter to the unit inch. A skilled person is able to create this design within two minutes and to establish the resulting machining plan within three minutes. According to this, it takes about five minutes to generate the NC program for each control via the respective post processor. The process in this demo is much slower so that you can follow the individual steps. Please click on the blue arrow to continue. A file containing the geometrical configuration is created first. A workpiece name is assigned and dimensions for the construction window are entered. Now a contour is created in the form of an outer contour with the starting point X0 Z0. The center point of the first contour element, a radius 6 ball, is known. The question mark has to be pressed because the transition point has no dimension. Now a tangential arc follows from which only the radius 40 is known. The third arc, seen clockwise, is defined via the center point and the radius. The software indicates that there are eight mathematical solutions. The one selected complies with the drawing. The arc ends on diameter 30. Next is a horizontal line up to Z minus 65. Then a vertical line up to diameter 16. Then another horizontal line up to the final length of Z minus 80. And finally, the vertical line up to X0. Now the chamfer is integrated. The position is found by a mouse click. Following this, the 1 by 45 degree chamfer is entered. Then, both 0.5 millimeter roundings are entered. The 3D view shows that the undercut is still missing. It will be created now. The undercut position is found by means of point definition. Now the corresponding values have to be entered.
The 3D image clearly shows the designed workpiece. It might be significant for a calculation to know both the volume and the workpiece mass. If a dimension contained in the drawing is incorrectly entered, it can be changed as desired without having to delete the element. Here we show the workpiece once the radius was altered. We have to, of course, change the radius value back to the original dimension in the drawing. Specific situations may require the knowledge of definite geometrical values for an element. Here are the values for the two arcs R40 and R8. Finally, the workpiece is saved under the name Handhold in the demo folder. If you open the file at a later date, the file name and the workpiece will appear. Using the pictograph with the yellow arrow at the top right, you can always switch to a different operating mode.